Here's your directions for work, place, the frog jump game. Each player will need a game marker. My game markers are frogs for this game. Yours may look different. You'll need a stack of cards mixed up and placed face down, a spinner and a game board. Players are going to take turns drawing two cards. We're gonna start at zero. Let's place both of our markers at zero. Player one is going to choose two cards, one and two. Now you're going to spin the spinner. Subtraction. So I need to make up a subtraction story. So I'm going to start at four since four is the bigger number and we're going to hop back three. So player one's frog is going to start at four. Now we need to make up a story. My frog had four flies. Three of them buzzed away. So we're going to go back three. One, two, three. Then I only had one fly remaining. Your teacher might ask you to record this expression on a record sheet. If I was to record this, I would write four, take away three equals one. Because I started at four, three of my flies flew away, and I landed on one. Okay, now it is player two's turn. Player two is going to draw two cards. We're going to take the cards that we used and just set them off to the side for now. All right, player two's turn. Player two is going to draw two cards. One, two. Now player two is going to spin the spinner to determine if he or she is adding or subtracting. All right, adding. So player two is going to add. All right. We're going to make up a story about this. So player two, player two started with zero flies. Then he called his mommy to say how hungry he was and she brought over five flies. One, two, three, four, five. Now he has five flies for dinner. Remember, your teacher might ask you to record this expression on a record sheet. Your equation would be zero plus five equals five. You're going to continue taking turns drawing cards and creating your own stories as you hop along the number line.